started my career as a cinematographer, so obviously the look of a film is important to me. There's no greater canvas for that look than IMAX. I think Transcendence and IMAX are a very good match. IMAX is the one true immersive format. It's not only having the screen fill your peripheral vision, but having the sound jump off 20 or 30 feet from the screen. It engulfs you in the experience. Once online, a sentient machine will quickly overcome the limits of biology. While it was a large project for a first time director, it was too intriguing for me to pass up. Its analytical power will be greater than the collective intelligence of every person in the history of the world. I call it transcendence. I just thought it was very unique. I thought it was a very original concept for a film and, and then also thought it was very current. There are a couple of scenes in particular that take advantage of the immersive quality of the IMAX image as well as the sound. There's one segment where it's a journey through the internet. It's a fantastic visual moment, and the sound design is very carefully uh, put together. That's a particular moment that I loved seeing when I saw the IMAX version. In anything you do, you draw on all your life experience. I worked as a camera operator for Robert Altman and seven films for Christopher Nolan. That becomes what you draw from. I think that, that the look of a movie, there's an evolution. All the elements have to come together and combine to create the look of a film. IMAX is a wonderful way to be able to tell a visual story. As a director, I'd love to continue working in the largest possible format and on the largest canvas. I think people are going to be blown away when they get a chance to see Transcendence in IMAX. It's really the format that the film was designed to be seen in.